Good morning. Welcome, Santiago de Compostela Parish. We're very glad you're with us this morning, especially the people on live stream. Let us stand. Let's take a moment and welcome the people around us as we come together on this Friday. As we begin our celebration, let us sing, Come, Worship the Lord, number 706. <clears throat> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Good morning. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have prayed sin in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fall, through my fall, through my most grievously fall, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, whom taught by the Holy Spirit we dare to call our Father. Bring, we pray, the perfection in our hearts, the spirit, spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Joshua. Joshua gathered together all the tribes of Israel at Shechem, summoning their elders, their leaders, their judges, and their officers. When they stood in ranks before God, Joshua addressed all the people. Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, in times past, your fathers, down to Terah, 
father of Abraham and Nahor, dwelt beyond the river and served other gods. But I brought your father Abraham from the region beyond the river and led him through the entire land of Canaan. I made his descendants numerous and gave him Isaac. To Isaac I gave Jacob and Esau. To Esau I assigned the mountain region of Seir in which to settle, while Jacob and his children went down to Egypt. Then I sent Moses and Aaron and smote Egypt with the prodigies which I wrought in her midst. Afterward I led you out of Egypt, and when you reached the sea, the Egyptians pursued your fathers to the Red Sea with chariots and horsemen. Because they cried out to the Lord, he put darkness between your people and the Egyptians, upon whom he brought the sea so that it engulfed them. After you witnessed what I did to Egypt and dwelt a long time in the desert, I brought you into the land of the Amorites who lived east of the Jordan. They fought against you, but I delivered them into your power. You took possession of their land, and I destroyed them, the two kings of the Amorites, before you. Then Balak, son of Zippor, king of Moab, prepared to war against Israel. He summoned Balaam, son of Beor, to curse you, but I would not listen to Balaam. On the contrary, he had to bless you, and I saved you from him. Once you crossed the Jordan and came to Jericho, the men of Jericho fought against you, but I delivered them also into your power. And I sent the hornets ahead of you that drove them out of your way. It was not your sword or your bow. I gave you a land that you had not tilled and cities that you had not built to dwell in. You have eaten of vineyards and olive groves which you did not plant. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. His mercy endures forever. His mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods, for his mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his mercy endures forever. His mercy endures forever. Who led his people through the wilderness for his mercy endures forever. Who smote great kings, for his mercy endures forever. And slew powerful kings, for his mercy endures forever. His mercy endures forever. And made their land a heritage, for his mercy endures forever. The heritage of Israel, his servant, for his mercy endures forever and freed us from our foes, for his mercy endures forever. His mercy endures forever. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Receive the word of God, not as the word of men, but as it truly is, the word of God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Some Pharisees approached Jesus and tested him, saying, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for, what, for any cause whatsoever? 
he said in reply, Have you not read that from the beginning the Creator made them male and female and said, For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. They are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, man must not separate. They said to him, Then why did Moses command that a man give the woman a bill of divorce and dismiss, dismiss her? He said to them, Because of the hardness of your hearts. Moses allowed you to divorce your wives, but from the beginning it was not so. I say to you, Whoever divorces his wife, unless the marriage is, in, is unlawful, and marries another, commits adultery. His disciples said to him, If that is the case of a man with his wife, it is better not to marry. He answered, Not all can accept this word, but only those to whom that is granted. Some are incapable of marriage because they were born so. Some because they were made so. Some because they have renounced marriage for the sake of the kingdom. Whoever can accept this ought to accept this. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear brothers and sisters, today in the Gospel we have a difficult subject to ponder, which greatly depends on our personal, conjugal, and family situation to see, accept, or reject Jesus' proposal. The indissolubility of marriage that Jesus proposes seems to be a scandal for some before the current norm of conduct, that is, the legal permissiveness of divorce. A divorce law is a useful for civilly regulation extreme situation of rupture, but the believer knows that this law is not for him except in extreme cases. The question that the Pharisees ask Jesus is very concrete. Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for any cause whatever? This question has its basis in the book of Deuteronomy 24, 1 through 4 but not because they argue any cause, whatever. Jesus and his answer not in any opening or restrictive tendency. He refers to the original will of the Creator from the beginning. What God has joined, men must not separate. His authority was nullified the granting of the divorce in the Mosaic law because of the stubbornness of the youth rather than moral mediocrity. The stable unity of the couple spring from the very nature and institution of marriage and not as a law external to it. For this reason, the indissolubility of marriage is an element that must be consolidated, consolidated over time in the life of love, in nonviolence, unlimited forgiveness, etc. There are cases where lifelong marital fidelity requires a certain amount of hero heroic love. For example, in cases of irreversible illness and disability. 
marital and family failure, failure or success is not prevented or resolved legally and by law, since it is basically a matter of love. The best means for the happiness, unity, and stability of the couple is to continually consolidate the marriage project, avoiding the habit of being united and constantly renewing the will, growing more and more in love. The causes of a divorce or marital separation are so complex, but there is an elementary principle regarding health that applies to our reflection. Prevention is better than cure. That is, young people must prepare properly for marriage, and married people must always maintain an upward pace. How? Constantly growing in authentic love through personal maturity, constant love education, and spiritually that spring from his own Christian vocation. May God bless those who participate in this holy vocation of marriage. Jesus taught that the relationship between man and wife should reflect the original plan of God, that these be joined together and not be separated. Let us pray that love in marriage and in the family may be strengthened. Our response, Lord, protect marriage and family life. Lord, protect marriage and family life that married couples may see the sacrament of marriage is not a social convention or merely an outward sign of commitment, but a gift of sanctification and salvation of the spouses. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, protect marriage and family life. That the people of God may see the ind indissolvability of marriage as affirmed by the church, not as a yoke imposed on humanity, but rather a gift granted to those joined in marriage. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, protect marriage and family life. That couples may face crisis and hardship in marriage and family life without fleeing from challenges or concealing problems. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, protect marriage and family life. That couples who contemplate separation or divorce Think of those who are most vulnerable in the crises, the children who suffer in silence and feeling an immense psychological burden. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, protect marriage and family life. That, that the Lord may replace the hard, hardness of our hearts with true love that is patient, kind, not jealous, and bears all things. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, protect marriage and family life. For the intentions of Betty Burgess and Louis Yvonne Flores, and for the repose of the soul of Mill Tennant, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, protect marriage and family life. It, we it, with join in prayers of thanksgiving with Abby Gittrell and Heather Wilcox. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, protect marriage and family life. We pray for those who are ill or need God's strength in healing, including Kimberly Pham Hewitt, Lorenzo Moran, Nancy Scott, Kathleen Griffin, 
Lumi Palacio, Barbara Yanchar, Carmen Wilberg, Eileen Angel, Richard and Loretta Moluki, Joan Donahue, France Imagawa, Tony Kassar, Magdalena Topanes, Anne Olimo, Alba, Alba Hernandez, and Rumi Baluenos. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, protect my rich and family life. And we pray for the repose of the souls of Michael Ranahan, Connie, um, Connie Manelhan, Paul Moreno, Belin Teano, Angel Sorosa, Marie Louise Tihanki, um, Carlos Eduardo um, Balbotin, um, Pablo Moreno, and Anna Estrada. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, protect marriage and family life. For the needs and the intentions each of us bring uniquely to Mass this morning and the needs we've already placed in the Ark of Prayer. For these needs, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, protect marriage and family life. Heavenly Father, make us mindful in the sacredness of and inviolability of the family and its beauty of in your plan. May families turn to the Holy Family of Nazareth for succor and the, as a model of communion and prayer. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of the human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of the human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Thank you. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We please, Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sense as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hand as he endured his passion, so as to break the bounds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Santus Dominus Deus Abao. 
Veni ti tu cieli e terra, gloria tua. Osana in excelsis, benedictus, qui venit domini, domini. Osana in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered we only into his passion, he took bread. And giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and was more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, on all the saints who has pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, 
peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with you. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally. Come totally spiritually in my heart. I embrace you as if you are, were already, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Communion Antiphon. The bread that I will give, says the Lord, is my flesh for the life of the world.
Let us pray. May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth. Through Christ our Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of the womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now in the hour of death. Hail, Guardian of the Redeemer, Spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted his only Son, and you Mary place his trust with your eyes, was cured and safe. Blessed Joseph, to us to show yourself as a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in the battle. We are protection and get witness snare of the devil. May God rebuke whom we humble pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, trust into all Satan, the other evil spirit, who proud about the world. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Our closing hymn is number 436, Wherever You Go number 436.